This is space weather latest. The South Atlantic anomaly over South America is splitting into two areas, and the scientists yet don't know why. Also, the far side of the sun, sunspot. The, uh, prob the probable sunspot has appeared in the sun's northern hemisphere, and we just can't see it yet. NASA Stereo A spacecraft is monitoring the active region on the far side of the sun. Based on its high latitude, it's likely a member of new solar cycle 25. The sun's rotation will turn the spot towards Earth about three days from now. And then we have the news about the South Atlantic anomaly splitting into two. New data from Europe's swarm satellite show something strange is afoot in Earth's magnetic field. The South Atlantic anomaly might be splitting into two. A new eastern minimum of the South Atlantic anomaly has appeared over the last decade, according to Jürgen Maska from the German Research Center for Geosciences. In recent years, it has been developing vigorously. The South Atlantic anomaly is a weak spot in Earth's magnetic field, centers roughly on the Atlantic side of South America. Discovered in 1958, it has been growing and shifting for decades, and the latest data from Swarm show a new weak spot forming just off the southern tip of Africa. Okay, so it's not just uh, over South America, it's now going towards the east, towards the southern tip of Africa. It's growing. Maska says, we are very lucky to have the Swarm satellites in orbit to investigate this development. Launched in November 2013, Swarm is a constellation of three identical satellites flying in formation around Earth. They're equipped with magnetometers, star trackers, and other instruments, which allow the satellites to make extensively detailed 3D measurements of Earth's magnetic field. The possible splitting of the anomaly is just one of the mission's many significant findings. Researchers have long known that Earth's magnetic field is weakening, over the last 200 years, the globally averaged magnetic field is, has lost around 9% of its strength. 9% in the last 200 years, with the South Atlantic anomaly leading the way. From 1970 to 2020, the minimum field strength in this area dropped from 24,000 nanoteslas to 22,000. As the South Atlantic anomaly has weakened, the inner Van Allen belt has split into it, is, has spilled into it, allowing uh, energetic particles, especially protons, to get within 200 kilometers of the Earth's surface. This poses little threat to people on the ground, but spacecraft are not so lucky. When satellites fly through the anomaly, they are exposed to relatively strong radiation. Onboard computers may reboot and digital cameras can be fogged by streaks of charged particles flying through them. The ISS has extra shielding to deal with this problem, and the Hubble Space Telescope does not even bother to make observations when it is inside the anomaly. If the South Atlantic anomaly eventually splits into two cells, satellite mission planners will have to contend with a new zone of high radiation. The splitting is more than just a nuance, it could offer clues to the origin of the anomaly itself. Earth's magnetic field is created by currents of superheated liquid iron swirling about 3,000 kilometers beneath our feet. Changes up here can tell researchers what's going on down there. And this is um, on space weather. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.